Hey everyone, so I am back in the United States. I was in Iceland for quite some time, saw some amazing things. If you did not see those videos, uh, I made a playlist for all the Iceland videos, so check them out. But I am back here, it's a little bit warmer here, and I am in Mississippi, in the Meridian, Mississippi area, and I am here at this place. Now that sign up there says Royal Land, and basically what this was was an old a secondhand amusement park way back in the day. It was also the old fairgrounds to this area. Most of it has been burned down or torn down and it seems to be the town's dumping grounds now. But what I'm more interested in showing you today is an incredible historic baseball stadium that's back there in the woods, overgrown. I believe it was built in 1937, has an amazing amount of history to it. So I'm gonna go back there and I'm going to show you what this stadium looks like. So this is called the Buck Walter Stadium. And from 1937 to 1955, it was home to a few different minor league baseball teams. However, it is most notably the stadium for the Meridian Millers, who played here from 1949 to 1955. And then emerging through the bushes, and the trees is this wooden fence. And I'm wondering if this is the original field because it looks like the stadium is right up there. It's actually way more overgrown than I thought it would be. This is the start of the infield right here. A testament to Mother Nature. Hard to believe that this was once a prominent baseball stadium. I'm not sure what happened here after 1955. I just know that the Meridian Millers no longer played here or any other baseball team on that level. Uh, from what I can tell, the stadium was used very little, maybe just a local little league, if anything at all. But a real piece of Mississippi history happened here when a young player by the name of Chico Haran became the first black baseball player on an all-white team in the entire state of Mississippi right here at this very stadium during the 1954 season. And it was many years later while scouting for the New York Yankees that Chico discovered Mariano Rivera playing in Panama in 1990. It was Chico Horan who got Mariano signed to the Yankees and he would go on to mentor him for the next 17 years. So to give you an idea, it's basically cement and steel with these wooden boxes for bleachers for, for the actual seats. overlooks probably what once was the parking lot. Like I said, there's just a lot of junky old buildings here, really not worth even looking into. Just a bunch of garbage. Unfortunately, it seems to be the town's garbage dump now, these old fairgrounds. This sort of reminds me of that movie, A League of Their Own. Go back and watch that movie and then watch this video again and you'll know what I mean. It just has that old look.
this definitely looks like where you would have purchased your tickets as that graffiti on the right states very clearly. Well, this explains the mystery of the tickets. Admit one. Oh, this is for the, the fair, the state fair. No date. No date on any of this stuff, unfortunately. But like I said, this was also the fairgrounds, so they had their yearly fairs here. It's a little bit of memorabilia there. Football, football helmet. Imagine walking up here to a game going on and the stadium full of spectators lots of baseball history here so I have a list of some of the more notable uh, baseball players that were on this team at some point in addition to Chico Heron Grover Resinger he played here, third base coach also for the White Sox and the Tigers, 67 to 70. Anselm Winmore, uh, he played here as well and also went on to play for the Detroit Tigers in 1946. Bob Ferguson was a pitcher. He pitched professionally for 13 years from 1938 to 1950 and also played for the Cincinnati Reds in 1944. And Valley Eaves, I believe he also was a pitcher, played for the Cubs and the White Sox from 1935 to 1942, and he died in 1960 at only 48 years old. I really couldn't find much online about this place at all. I think when things are that far back, in the 1930s, 1940s, you just don't find a lot of pictures and a lot of information. I mean, there are some rosters. If you're interested, you can look that stuff up online, just look for the Meridian Millers, and you will find some rosters. Other than that, it's uh, pretty sparse, unfortunately. It's just crazy to think that at one time, many, many years ago, people were playing baseball here, and there were hundreds, if not thousands of people sitting up there watching them. And now it's this just desolate forest of just some forgotten past, some forgotten history, it's amazing but that's the buck walter stadium hope you liked it hope you liked the history i'm getting back on the road gonna be going through mississippi and then who knows from there thanks for watching see you in the next video